You know, in display panels, the polarizer and brightness enhancement film are all top tier products in our industry. These are the top products in our field. Currently, most of them are still using foreign products. That's right. So how big is the current gap? How can we achieve progress? What suggestions do you have for everyone? Right now it's BOE, Visionox, Tianma, and CSOT. These companies have, each of them emphasizes different segments. Some focus on large screens, some focus on small screens, some target automotive displays. Take BOE, for example. It is the largest manufacturer of boxing optoelectronics. In certain areas, it holds global number one positions. This includes Visionox and Tianma as well, each with their own strengths. As you mentioned earlier, some materials are still imported. Last year, we imported 267,000 tons of semi-finished products. A large portion of that was used to support their production needs. In terms of specialization, this has made opportunities. We have created opportunities for related companies. The chance lies in the present future. Right now, speaking of polarizers, since 2008, I've been supplying supporting materials to Mr. Zhang at San Lepu. Yes, since 2008, 2018, in October, beginning with black and white TVs. And then in August, 2022, I used a production line in Haiyan to supply small batches to the Shanjing Optoelectronic System because Shenzhen Optoelectronics supplies to BOE supporting CSOT, as well as to Visionox and also to Tianma, right? Possibly even including Samsung and LG. Now my monthly shipment volume has reached over 10 million square meters, close to 15 million square meters. This is the result of our accumulation over time, the joint efforts of our internal team and the full coordination across the industry chain. This has backlight modules like the brightness enhancement film mentioned in terms of backlight modules, starting backlight module when it comes to large screens. You are like a TV screen conference screen, including laptop computers. We've already solved these domestically. But for some ultra thin types, we still rely on imports. However, we started, our leading domestic companies have also begun to make advances. So in this regard, our progress has actually been quite fast.